Hello, hello YouTube. My name is Mel from Mel's Paper Makes. I am a 23 year old cash stuffer here on YouTube. I do monthly budget with me's I, and weekly cash stuffings and end of the month cash tendencies. So by the time you have watched this, I will have turned 24, but right now I am still 23 by the time of filming this. We are doing a cash stuffing for week four of December. We have $379, so 50, 20, 40, 60, 80, 150, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 250, 260, 70, 80, 90, 300, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. $379 is all here. As usual, if you are also a finance channel or a budgeting channel, please, please, please leave a comment down below so that I can check out your channel and hopefully others can check out your channel as well. So this video will be uploading a little after Christmas. So I hope you all have had a great Christmas if you celebrate, if you don't, I hope you have had a great holiday. Um, please let me know what your family traditions are. My family traditions usually consist of having a pretty, uh, I guess, a pretty late night. Um, my family likes to open presents in the Christmas Eve um, and then Christmas Day we do a dinner, we go to mass, and then we will also try to have a family game night. My family loves to do family game nights. I love to do them as well. Some of us are pretty competitive. Some of us are a little bit more laid back. I'm a little bit more on the competitive side, but let me know what some of your family traditions are. Okay, also on the note of it being the holiday season, um, in my description, I hopefully would have linked my budgeting sheet or a version of my budgeting sheet um, in the description so that you can have some resources that can hopefully help you out. So if you are starting your budgeting journey and you want to try um, a monthly budget spread or sheet, um, hopefully it's a resource that you can use and feel free to check it out and it's kind of like a holiday um what's it called a a holiday gift to you to thank for your support so now we can actually get into the actual cash stuffing video so this is my lovely coin jar and we have a lot of coins from this past week. So coin jar is getting pretty full and I am wanting to bring it to my bank to hopefully transfer it and put it into some categories. This is my cash envelopes. I have my winter set on here. I do sell these on my Etsy shop if you are interested in having a set for yourselves. But for groceries, we have nothing left over. Gas, we have. $5, not five, that is $10, $10 left over in gas. I filled up on gas at like, the price was two fifty six, dollars which was awesome. I loved it. Um, two fifty six dollars for that. And I also like to scour um, my Gas Buddy up app to see if there is the cheapest gas station in my area within reason. And I usually will go to that. And I also do have um, a hybrid work schedule. So I'm not going to the office five days a week. I'm only going um, three times a week. So that is really, really nice. And I have $3 left over in spending. So now I get to restuff everything. And for groceries, we are putting $30 into groceries i was a little bit um i was a little too eager in my last uh grocery trip um and i need to increase my grocery budget because things are things are starting to increase in price again um gas is getting 25 dollars 
But yeah, prices are starting to increase. I did splurge and get some things. Well, I don't know if they're necessarily a splurge. I just got like bacon. <laughs> um, and what else did I get to try? Um, yeah, I just got bacon and it put me a little over budget. Um, last time I did get something, but a lot of the things are starting to increase. I do shop at Aldi and I do meal prep. $30 worked for me pretty well for like quarter two and quarter three, but now I do have to increase it. So I'm probably going to increase it in the month of January. Hopefully it will be okay for that month. Um, I'm also going to plan to empty out my freezer again because I have accrued a lot of things in there. But eating out is getting 25. Spending is going to get 25 as well. All right. So again, if you are interested in these mini cash envelopes, I do offer them in my Etsy shop, which is always linked below. So that does it for my daily cash envelopes. We are now going to be moving into my savings binder. I'll set that off to the side. We are going to be putting $9 into my buffer envelope. And we're going to do this by putting these fives in here and taking out this one. And I'm putting $9 in here instead of the 10 because I do want to put this $1 towards something else. So I will separate that. I wanna put this into my Lights Out Savings Challenge, which is a Formula One um, savings challenge. So now Buffer got nine. In total, it has 10, 15, 20, and 25 in Buffer. And I use Buffer for any overages in my daily cash envelopes. Next is my emergency fund. I'm putting $65 in here, 50, 65. And I already have a three month emergency fund. I'm now just trying to build to a $10,000 goal. And now we have five, six, seven, eight, 8,500, 600, 700, 750, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 8, 5, and 10. So we are making some good progress towards the 10K goal. I am making, um, I am going to be contributing to my emergency fund a little less aggressive um, to get to my 10K goal compared to when I got, when I'm, hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Um, getting to my three month emergency fund goal, I was pretty aggressive with saving money. Now getting from my three month to 10,000, I'm going to be a little bit less aggressive because I do have some other financial goals that I do want to hit. Next medical is getting $20. This would be used for any copays. If I need any dental work done, hopefully I don't, um, Oh wait, no. Yeah, any dental stuff, any co-pays, any medicines, I would be pulling from here. My future pet will be getting $1 for now. I don't have a pet right now. I'm saving for one in the future. My lifestyle right now is not the best to be having a pet. It's not a very responsible move if I were to have one for work. I travel a lot and I'm just not in the right place to own a pet right now. I would love to have one in the future. That is, that's why I'm saving up. We have 150, 75, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. So my future pet has $180. I have seen comments saying that it's not crazy to have a pet emergency before I have, um, sorry, it's not crazy to have a pet emergency fund before I have an actual pet. So I feel like that would be a great way for me to do that. Once I save up for the actual adoption fee, then maybe it'd be great to start saving or putting money aside for a pet emergency. 
my gym is getting two dollars i go to a rock climbing gym i don't currently climb right now but i'm wanting to pick it back up in january and it has 150 70 90 91 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 198 the actual gym membership itself cost uh 70 dollars and that's 70 dollars per month and it is pretty pricey but it is a want that i am budgeting for and the excess that is in this envelope is put towards any future climbing equipment that i would want or if i want to check out a gym um that i travel to next is memberships this is getting five six and seven dollars membership is for things like my spotify which i've been using a lot for audiobooks right now again if you don't no, Spotify has, I think, 15 hours of free audiobooks for premium memberships. Check them out. Please check them out. Um, I'm an avid reader right now. I wouldn't say avid. I'm, I'm wanting to get back into reading. I have my library card, which is very well loved right now. And now I have Spotify. So please check them out. Please check out the audiobooks and let me know some recommendations. I love me some romance books. I love me some romance books. So let me know if you have any um, any fun suggestions. Membership got seven, Spotify, um, Max, and Minecraft is what I use it for. Apple Storage. It would be for Formula One right now. Wait, it would be for Formula One TV, but right now the season is done. So I am not paying on that. It now in total has 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 36. All right. 36 in memberships. And finally, extra week. Um, I'm not putting anything in there, and I won't take the whole thing out. But for December, extra week is for magic month. Um... Yeah, for magic months or months that have five weeks. For quarter four of 2023, that's December, and it's fully funded with 105. And for 2024, it has 20, 40, and 50. So it has 155 in total for this envelope. Now we can move on to my sinking funds binder. Now, my sinking funds binder is for lower priority things. And we're starting off with clothes. This is getting five. Now it has 50, 65, 75, one and two, 77. 77 in clothing. Family is getting a five. Now it has 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and 51. So 51 in family. I'll move this down just a tad. Christmas is this one. And Christmas is getting five, six, seven, now this is uploading after Christmas, but I still have a little ways to go for Christmas. I have most of the gifts, I think. Um, there is still quite a bit of money in here and whatever I don't use for the 2023 season will be rolled over to the 24 season. It has one, $200 in the bank, 5, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So 213 dollars. I still have some Christmas gifts to buy. Oh, I do. Oh my goodness. I have a white elephant gift I need to buy. So I need to buy something for that, but I have enough funds in here. My apartment is getting five dollars. And 
saw um i saw these cups on at aldi i really am wanting to get it um hopefully i will i'm gonna manifest that i do but it has 120 30 35 40 45 46 and 147 i'm not really sure how much the cups are but i'm hoping that they're not incredibly insane but it's aldi so i'm not expecting it to be an insane amount of money either bulk food is getting two dollars this is for things like sam's club or if i go to the asian market um i will pull from here it has a hundred one two three and four so and the reason why um the asian market is coming from bulk food rather than groceries is that sometimes i just need to stock up on some things like um like the one thing i did get i got a lot of um, spring roll wraps and gyoza wraps um i got um just a bunch of sauces and such and those aren't things i need on the daily for groceries so it just makes sense for me to pull from bulk food next is gifts this is getting 15 dollars now this is getting a lot because right after Christmas, I don't, I basically don't get a break. Um, <laughs> I have Christmas and then it's my dad's birthday and then it's my mom's birthday. So the gift season does not end. And gifts is getting 15. It now has 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, and $51 in gifts. Next is dates. This is gonna get $10. Because in between my Christmas and my parents' birthdays, I have my anniversary. And I wanna save up for um, a nice dinner. It now has 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, one, two, three, and four. So now this has 104 towards dates. Hobbies is not going to get anything, but it has $6, I believe. $6. All right. <laughs> Next is spending. It is going to get $35. $20, $35. $50, $50. $60, $60. $70, $70. $80, $80. $90, $90. $100, $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100.
Next is my Formula One um, savings challenge. And this is actually gonna get, it was budgeted to get $3, but I'm taking $1 from my daily cash rollover and putting it in here as well. And I had to get my little marker. I am going to be filling in one of these tracks. Now this is gonna be used hopefully to get the yearly um, subscription of F1 TV. Um, I don't know if you save money or not, but I would just think it would be a fun little challenge to see if I can pay for the 2024 F1 TV membership all at once so I don't have to worry about it throughout the actual season itself. Let's fill in Suzuka. I think this is Suzuka. You know what? Keep it safe. I'm going to go with um, Bahrain. And I'm not going to talk too much while I fill it in. because I do tend to mess up, but I didn't that time. So each track represents $4. In total, there are 96, it's $96. The actual um, subscription itself, the yearly subscription, I think it's only $90. Um, but I don't know how taxes will play into it. It now has five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So that is four tracks colored in. I have until, oh shoot, I want to watch testing. The end of February, two months, a little over two months to get this colored in. I think I could do it. I think I could definitely do it. If not, give it a really solid try. But next is my big binder. I'm gonna move things a little out of the way, but we are starting off with car maintenance. And car maintenance is gonna get $20, $32. And I do split it up between different categories. Let me also pull out my calculator. I don't have a really nice calculator because it costs money. I have this and it works perfectly fine. So for car maintenance, this is fully funded at 500, but I am going a little bit beyond that. It's gonna get $10. This now has five, 510, 20, 30, and 540. So I am exceeding my goal because you never know with car maintenance. Oh, you never know with cars. They'll act up. Car deductible is fully funded at 500 and I am not planning on putting more towards it. Car registration is fully funded at 100 and $22 is going to go into car insurance. I currently have a six month policy. Um, and this is to save up for when I have to renew it. It has 100, 200 in the banks, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 296, I believe, is what is in insurance. And the goal for this is 700. So in total, the car envelope or the car group has $1,436 saved for it, which is pretty gosh darn good, if I have to say so myself. My friend's wedding is getting a lovely $20. And this is really exciting because Dress and accessories is fully funded at 250. And transportation, 
will be fully funded at 300. And I only need to put 15 in there. So I'm gonna put in the 20, take out a five. Check it out. 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300 plus 300 plus this five dollars which is going to be going towards housing so transportation has 300 hopefully i'm able to use some of my travel points so i don't actually have to pay 300 but who knows um housing has five dollars this is for the airbnb that we will be staying in um and that has five dollars in there in total wedding my friend's wedding has five hundred and fifty five dollars okay travel twenty dollars this is going to accompany the wedding so the wedding is on a weekend i'm going to take a week to travel to have a vacation oh my goodness pre-trip is fully funded at 150 housing is fully funded at 210 it's only it's going to be for five nights but it's this low because i do have travel points rental car though is not fully funded and this is getting 20 dollars it now has 50 20 40 60 80 100 sorry 150 and 170. did i get that right yes i did 170. so in total my travel envelope has 530 dollars saved up for it which is also pretty good i think the total the goal with every yeah the goal of like this i think it's like 1650 and i think the same is for travel but moving on to moving i have my final ten dollars which is going to go picked up extra envelopes it's going to go into safety deposit the goal for this is 800 I don't know what my future deposit will be. I don't know if I'll be moving, but I'd like to plan because I don't want to go into debt because I want to move. It now has 150 in the bank, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200. Oh yeah, so we are now a quarter of the way there. And moving in total only has $200 in the actual envelope itself. So that does it for my big binder. Move things out of the way because now I get to take one, two, three dollars from my daily cash envelopes rollover. And I'm gonna put that towards my $1 savings challenge. I'm gonna be counting this at the end of the year. I'll have a video where I count the ones and my change. And I have some plans as to put some of your guesses down in here, down below. Um, I think this is like, I don't know, I feel like it's like 250. Here's a good look at it. There are some fives in there. Um, that's what it's looking like. I think maybe I want to be optimistic and say like 250. For this, now I don't know how much is in here. There's a lot of quarters, that's the thing. There's a lot of quarters. Um, I don't know. I wanna say it's $100. I'm not sure though. Maybe, maybe like 85, 75. I think at least it's like $75 because this is a pretty big jar. And it's pretty full. So that does it for today. Thank you again for watching the show. Again, if you are um, a cash stuffing or a finance channel, please leave a comment down below so that I can check out your channel. Other people can check out your channel as well. Happy holidays and happy early New Year's. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Oh my. <laughs> 
Happy early New Year's. Thank you. Bye.